Look, I know there's people out there who are saying, I don't understand how Bruce Jenner could say that he's a woman after so many years of being a guy. Look, I'm not going to rant in this video. I'm just going to point out the basic um, common sense points that a lot of you people are overseeing or just aren't considering. One, when Bruce Jenner tells um, Diane Sawyer that he's felt this since he was five, okay, one, maybe he knew ever since then and he couldn't tell his parents that because his parents could send him to conversion therapy to one of these religious camps and he would have gone through hell. Or I should I should say she. She would have gone through hell. But then throughout the sixties and seventies when she was an Olympian she couldn't come out and say that she was a woman because for the sole fact that during the 60s and 70s, maybe early 80s, but from that point on, pe people started accepting gay people. There wasn't as much, but gay people were starting to be more accepted by everybody else. But during that time, if you were gay, if you were bi, if you were a lesbian, or if, even if you were transgender, you couldn't say that you were because your career would not only be over, but you would get the shit kicked out of you verbally and you couldn't defend yourself. For example, Liberace. Look, I mean, it's true, the man was very flamboyant for a straight guy, but he still played the straight persona pretty well because even in the 70s, People couldn't tell that he was gay. Even though he walked on the stage with a long, long fur coat. Another person, Rock Hudson, another perfect example. He, The guy knew he was gay for a long time, but he couldn't say anything because his career would have been over. So what did Rock Hudson do? He played the straight persona very well. Like how uh, Neil Patrick Harris played Barney on How I Met Your Mother. See? M Neil Patrick Harris isn't afraid to tell people that he's gay, though, because we live in a society where 61% of Americans accept gay people. Uh, another thing. Um... Freddie Mercury wasn't afraid to tell people he was bisexual. In fact, people could tell that right off the bat. And in an interview, he said, yeah, I'm bisexual. There's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly normal. And people still enjoyed him as an entertainer. But... He couldn't say that when he started as the lead singer in Queen in the 70s because, like I said, he would have got the shit kicked out of him verbally. Now, back to Bruce Jenner. Now, she could have said back in the 90s that she, that she always felt like she should have been born a woman, but back then in the 90s, you have to know that in 2015, 61% of Americans accept pe gay people or members of the LGBT community as citizens. But you have to know that this is 2015. Back in the 90s, maybe 30, 31% or maybe 29% of people. Still a very low number. Okay. Now... Maybe Bruce Jenner decided that she was finally comfortable with being who she really was 
after living with the Kardashians for a while and realizing, oh yeah, I'm comfortable with being who I am around my family who just happen to be other women as well. And that's perfectly fine. The reason why I wanted to explain this because some people can't get it through their heads. These feelings that transgender people have, these feelings that gay people have, these feelings that lesbians have, these feelings that bisexuals have, because you're not in their skin. If you're not in their skin, you'll never understand. Period. It's as simple as that. 